I have this one for the challenge. Cool, cool family. Last frost is uh, first week of May. It's like that's not true anymore. Last frost could be like last week of June. We have no idea. Hi, I'm Clémence, um, la copropriétaire de la ferme au Colibri. Um, our farm is situated in the Outaouais, so between Ottawa and Montreal on the Quebec side. Hi, I'm Sasha and I help with the veggie baskets. Because mm -hmm. I think as farmers, we're in the forefront of the effects of climate change. So this summer we had like a real wake up call. Um, I think it was like kind of um, uh, a consensus amongst our young farmers that we were kind of always feeling a bit anxious about adapting to the very um, frightening climate. So this summer we had a four week with no rain and then there was forest fires where there was you know we weren't technically allowed to be working outside but we had to because there's no choice um, and then there was two months of rain every single day and big rainfalls that had uh, you know very very big effects on our farms and then on top of that uh, there was tornado warnings every uh, second week so it was just like kind of a constant state of like oh okay what are we gonna do next we, our farm does, uh, we prioritize uh, farm to consumer direct contacts. So one way that we do that is through our veggie boxes. So every week or every second week, we offer veggie boxes in different parts of um, the West Island and in our area in the Utahuit and in Gatineau. So what's cool about the veggie boxes is that we try to um, best know what people eat and what people like to have every week but also it's a great way to discover some, some vegetables that people don't normally use especially I think is interesting in the winter basket where we can find actually a great diversity of, of uh, foods to eat that are local that are, are grown in Quebec but that we're not used to eating so we can explore uh, a big diversity of vegetables um, all year long really. I tell people what's in it and they take the vegetables. That's and awesome. you're also really good at suggesting recipes yes. and trialing recipes for people. And I think the coolest thing about CSA is like the community aspect of it. And what I find really fun is like hearing people share recipes that they, they made with maybe a vegetable that they didn't normally cook in their households. Um, and so there's like this cohesion that's created through these very humble vegetables. <laughs> Here's some ideas for what you could make for the holidays with some local vegetables. You could use radishes and grate them, and then you could add flour, eggs, egg, and cheese, and make radish fritters in oil. And the, those would make really good appetizers. Yeah, they would. Um, you can also make a nice side dish of cabbage. So just in a frying pan with butter, um, apple juice, and pieces of apples, the cabbage becomes super sweet. It's really good. Or you can also make a salad, a radicchio salad, but that's really bitter. Do you like the bitter taste of this? I don't think I've tasted You it. haven't tried it? Okay. Well, it's a bit bitter, but if you make a nice... Um, very sweet vinaigrette that becomes like it's a delicious salad with some apples and walnuts and maybe some cheese um, cranberries whatever you want to, to make a festive salad